Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back to another ride with me vlog. I just got to the bar and here's Pumpkin. I'm actually not riding Pumpkin though. Um, let me just get these guys some treats. <laughs> okay. Um, so I just got to the barn and I saw who I'm riding. I am riding Confetti. So Confetti is a pony. She's a little Appaloosa pony and she looks so sweet, so fun. And I've wanted to ride her for so, so, so long. Um, and today I've finally been assigned to ride her. So I'm so excited. She's actually currently in a lesson. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Thank you. Thank you for that. You're so sweet. So are you. <laughs> Um, she's currently in a lesson, so I don't have to tack her up, um, which is kind of nice, but at the same time, like, I wish I could spend some time with her, but I get to untack her and stuff after. Um, so I'm just going to hang around until... <gasps> Pumpkin, you're so mean! Bossy. Um, so I'm just going to hang around until it's my time to go in and do our lesson. But she's so cute, guys. I'm so excited. You are so cute. <laughs> Look at your face. You are so cute. Guys, so this is Confetti and oh my goodness, doesn't she just have the absolute sweetest face you have ever seen? She is so freaking adorable and she's just so sweet and she is super fast and super energetic. So this is going to be a really fun lesson. I can't wait. Hi Confetti. So Little Miss Confetti is only 13.2 hands and that's why I love being short so I can ride the ponies as well as the horses. I posted a shorts video of me riding confetti not too long ago and a lot of you thought that I didn't record it as a vlog and you guys were so upset but don't you worry. Oh, oh, are you starting to be a little bossy already? Okay. Confetti. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can be bossier than confetti. Oh, she's so small. <laughs> Thank you. She feels like she's got energy. <laughs> really? I don't look too big. I feel s <laughs> I feel like I'm so close to the ground. <laughs> That's true. Oh my goodness, so first impression, my very, very first impression is, wow, the ground is really close. <laughs> this is such a big difference because just the week before I was riding Philo. Where are you going? <laughs> Oop. Oh, good girl. So I can already tell that Confetti definitely has a little bit of that pony attitude, but what pony doesn't have a little bit of spice? It wouldn't be any fun if they didn't. I'm the only pony 
Actually, no, Breezy will be in soon. But yeah, this is definitely a little bit of a shock from going the week before on Philo. Philo is a big boy, if you didn't see my previous video. I'm not sure exactly how many hands he is, but he is definitely at least 16 hands. So 16 hands to 13.2 is definitely a little bit of a difference. She's got these teeny tiny little baby strides, and Philo has these massive long strides. So Confetti is incredibly smooth and she's also really, really fast. So we were catching up to people quite often and this was actually a very busy lesson today. We had a full lesson, so I believe we had five students and we also had someone doing a practice ride. So the arena was jam packed and Confetti was catching up to everyone. So we had to do lots and lots of circles, but I thought this was actually really good practice because I've heard that warm up rings and shows can be very very busy sometimes so I guess this is kind of good practice how's this she's so smooth yeah. and she's so fast she's got such tiny little quick steps Another fun thing about Confetti is she's actually really, really, really good with her voice commands. I've never ridden a horse that is this good with their voice commands. Like a lot of the time I can just use my voice and I actually don't really have to use my leg or Z. Um, still will, obviously, but that's just how good Confetti is with her voice commands. So because the arena was so busy and confetti is so fast, this was a good lesson to really put into practice those small tight trot circles that we learned in our lesson last week. So this was our first exercise of the day. There are four poles on one end of the arena over a bend. So the tricky thing was trying to, one, maintain the same number of steps between each pole and also stay in the center while going around on a bend. And this was quite challenging. I, for some reason, have a really difficult time counting steps. I feel like I'm gonna be that rider that can't see a stride. And that's not a good thing. I really hope that's not me, but I have a bad feeling that it's gonna be me. Oh, okay, got it. So I think we got the same number of steps between each pole there, but to be completely honest, I can't be certain. I, I just, I can't see it. Can you? Okay. 
Okay, so by the end there, going on the left rein, I think we were getting the same number of steps between each pull. Please feel free to correct me if I'm totally delusional. Um, but the issue then we were having was staying straight. For some reason, I was really cutting them on the corner. I, I don't know why I was doing that. I think for some reason I thought I was being strategic, <laughs> but anyways. So there you can really see just how busy the arena is today and how many circles I would have to do just to maintain some spacing. But honestly, I didn't mind it at all. It is really good practice to uh, ride in busy and small arenas. It's good for my steering and my awareness, make sure I'm paying attention. Um, so yeah, uh, this was a good lesson, honestly. I just had to do three circles to find a spot. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Okay, so that time, I believe we did still keep the same number of steps. Again, correct me if I'm totally Delulu, but I think we were more centered over the poles than when we initially started. You can definitely see me start to drift after the second pole, but it's an improvement, so I'll take it. So with Little Miss Confetti being quite smooth, her sitting trot was very comfortable, but it's also really fast. So it doesn't feel bumpy, but it doesn't feel crazy smooth. So the tricky part from going to sitting trot to posting over the poles, I really wanted to make sure that I was paying attention and timed it correctly so that when I started posting over the first pole that I was on the correct diagonal, but I started posting just a little bit too early as you can see and I ended up being on the wrong diagonal so I had to change it as we were going over the first pole. So I definitely want to see if I can time it correctly so that I'm on the correct diagonal as we're going over the first pole. Good job, you can Fanny. Pretty nice. Like Dora, pumpkin. So now we're just gonna take a little bit of a walk break and then we are going to get ready to canter and I am so excited for Confetti's canter. This is going to be so fun. Who thinks they can canter for those poles? <coughs> no. No? <laughs> just being honest. Jump, yeah. I want to be second.
<laughs> that grip's pretty tight. I think you're okay. You are so cute. <laughs> Rolo. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> He's like, I'm done, guys. I will go next. Does anyone want to go with me? I will go with the slowest course. I will go with Which way do you want us to go first? Right. Is anyone going? Is anyone joining me? You're not giving anyone confidence. Me? Yeah. No one wants to canter with me? I know. I didn't. I didn't ask for anything there. That was all you. Yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. That's crazy. If I was going that fast on a large horse, I would be like so scared. <laughs> She's just got little legs. Yeah. So are you guys going together? No one wanted to canter with me. <laughs> Girl, you are so cute. Look at you. You are adorable. How is confetti not everyone's favorite horse? So that was my first ever canter on confetti and oh my goodness, that was so fun. She is like a little bullet. She just takes off and she goes. So her canter is interesting. It is smooth, but in a way it reminds me of Rolo's canter in that it feels like it's very downward sloping. She does. And it's interesting. She's smooth. She's so smooth, but she's different kind of smooth than like Pumpkin yeah. or Dora. Yeah. It's, it's interesting. It's very weird. <laughs> Look, it's Edith! Going left. Okay, so now we are going the other way. So Confetti is actually one of those horses that she is stronger on the right. So this is her weaker side and she's more likely to pick up the wrong lead. Confetti trap. Oh. Whoa. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. That was my fault. Okay. I was not in my seat for the sitting trot when I asked for canter. Yeah, I think kickers and canters just like that. Wait, did you say don't kick her to canter? No. Just ask for canter? Canter! Is she on the right lead? Oh. 
Whoa, try it. Try it. Catch her. So that was our canter going to the left. And she did pick up her wrong lead, I think, once, but then we just went back to trot and picked up the correct lead. That entire time, I was just using my voice commands with her. That's so funny. I just used my voice commands the whole time. <laughs> She's the best. You're so cute. So honestly, I really, really did enjoy riding confetti in this lesson today. And I really do hope that I get to ride her a little bit more often because she was so fun. It's definitely a lot different than what I'm used to. So I think if I would have the chance to ride confetti again sometime soon, there are some changes that I would make to ride her more effectively and to have a better seat. I think today I had a little bit of a stiff leg um, where my knee wasn't necessarily bent enough and it was kind of like stiff and and kind of in like a chair seat position, if you know what I'm talking about. Confetti! Hello! <laughs> I'm sorry, I have, I have treats in the barn, I promise. I promise. Oh. You are so cute. So now that the lesson is done, it is time to go into the barn and untack. So Confetti does not have any more lessons today. So since I didn't get the chance to groom her and tack her up and get ready for her lesson, I'm gonna spend a little bit extra time with her post lesson. I just wanted to spend some quality time with her, get to know her a little bit more and cherish these moments with her because she is just absolutely such a sweetie pie. So of course the first thing after a lesson is I'm going to neatly put away my bridle and then I'm going to untack confetti and give her a nice groom and I'm so excited to just groom her. I'm going to pick out her feet too because I just want to see how tiny and cute her feet are but she is absolutely adorable. I'm also going to feed confetti and let her eat while I groom her. So because she is a teeny tiny pony, she does only get a quarter scoop. But I'll give her plenty of treats too, don't worry. And Puma the pig is also going to hang around and try and get any last scraps. I absolutely love Confetti's little Appaloosa coat. It is so cute. Her little spots are so adorable and it just suits her name and her personality so perfectly. Want to get your blanket on and go outside? So as I'm sure for many of you, it is officially blanket season and I absolutely despise blanket season, especially if you ride someone who was 
already inside and you don't ride too often and you're not really sure what their blanket looks like, <laughs> it could be a little bit of um, stressful, but I had someone show me where Confetti's blanket was, so we're all good. So I'm just gonna make sure that all the straps are there and it's put on correctly so that she doesn't take it off when she is outside and she stays nice and warm. Okay, so now that Confetti's all groomed, she's been fed, and she has her blanket on, it is time to bring her back outside into the fields. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I really hope you loved this vlog with Confetti because I absolutely loved, loved riding her, and I hope I get to ride her again soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.